Guess what time it is? It's time for hey. Puggles. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Heather, Miss Christy. Hi. And, oh, I'm just feeling Ooh. a little tired today. Me too. Mm. Me too. Today we're learning that God loves us when we are tired. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. man, are you tired? Well, I think you'll perk up when you sing the Puggles song. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sing. Puggles! You know it's true, Puggles. God loves me and you, Puggles. So what? Welcome back. It's good to hear you sing the Puggle song. Well, look who we have here. It's our friend Maya. Hey, Maya. Hi, friends. It's good to see your smiling faces. Did you bring any of your animal friends today, Maya? Well, yes. I brought Alice, but she's been kind of slow today. Alice? Slow? Isn't she usually full of energy? Yeah, she's usually bouncing all around. Oh, she's not sick, is she? Oh, no, she's fine. So, she's just worn out. Well, here she comes. You can ask her yourself. Oh, uh, phew, I'm here. Can I nap now? Oh. Um, hi, Alice. Um, are you okay? What? Oh, hi there. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my goodness. You are usually so bouncy. We're hoping everything's okay. She's okay. She spent the week with her cousin. They did lots of stuff together the whole time. And they bounced a lot, so she's just a little worn out. Mm, I think I understand. Have you ever been tired out, kids? I know I have. (laughs) Oh, she's been doing this. She falls asleep and then she starts snoring. That is funny. You know, we've been learning about how God loves us. Does God love us when we're snoring? (laughs) Yeah, our verse says, We know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Yes, God loves us all of the time. Even Jesus' friends got tired and fell asleep when he wanted them to pray. But... Jesus still loved them. Yeah, I still love my friend Alice, even when she's tired. That's good. So I'm sure that God still loves us when we're tired, asleep, (laughs) and snoring. Uh, Yes, he definitely does. And I am so glad he does because sometimes I get worn out playing with all my puggle friends. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Cousin Ray? Play with Puggle? Okay, let's go. Oh, Alice, you're dreaming again. Cousin Rue and Uncle Rue went home. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Does that make you sad? No, that makes me tired. <laughs> Can we go home now? <laughs> of course, no sleeping on the sidewalk this time. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Maya. Good night, Alice. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys. Well, I hope that you are not tired because now it's time for Puggles Big Verse number three. Get on your feet. Now it's time for Puggles Big Verse number three. First 
John 4, 16. We know and rely on the love God has for us. We know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. God is love. God is love. First John. 16 We know and rely on the love God has for us We know and rely on the love God has for us God is love 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 God is love, First John four sixteen. Welcome back, boys and girls. You sounded great. We know and rely on the love God has for us because God is love. All right. Do you see this little boy on my card right here? He looks tired. And I wonder if he's resting because he was crying or maybe he was sad. You know what? Sometimes we feel that way right before we go to bed. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt grumpy and sad like you didn't want to go to sleep? Yeah, me too. Me too. But God always loves us no matter what, no matter how tired we are. So our Bible story today takes place in a garden like what you see right behind us. Jesus went to a garden to pray with his friends. He knew that it was almost time for him to die. Jesus was going to take all of the sadness and the sin of the whole world on himself so that his death could heal our hearts. He needed his friends to pray for him, to have the strength to do the hardest thing that he had ever done. All right, we're going to see what happens next. Let's go into the Bible, God's holy word, and find out. We're going to read from the book of Luke, chapter 22, verses 41 through 45. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will... Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, nevertheless not my will but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And having an, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Oh boy. So... The Bible tells us that Jesus prayed for strength and told God that he would do whatever God wanted him to do. This is how much Jesus loves us. And it was God's plan for Jesus to die for the sins of the whole wide world, for my sin, Miss Heather's sin, and your sin too. It would change everything. But you know what? When he came out of the garden, he found that his friends... They fell asleep. Yeah, they were very, very overwhelmed and exhausted by what was happening. You know what, though? Jesus loved his friends no matter what. Just because they were tired, he still loved them. Just like he loves you. That's right. Okay, let's see what's in our special bag, Miss Heather. Aw, the blankie. <laughs> And a pillow. All right. Nice. Now, I'm betting that you kids, you probably have something like those, like a pillow and a blanket at home, don't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and those help you go to sleep at night. They help you when you're tired, kind of grumpy. Oh, my goodness. Miss Heather's already asleep, I think. <laughs> so sometimes right before we fall asleep, we get grumpy. But, you know, you go to sleep eventually, don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, I think you do. So in our Bible story, we heard that Jesus' friends were tired and they fell asleep. And Jesus, he loved them anyways, even though they were sleeping. Who would like to pretend to fall asleep? Raise your hand. Oh, Miss Heather, I think she's ready to go. And boys and girls, you two at home, why don't you grab a pillow and a blanket and just lay your head down and pretend to snooze for a minute. You can snore if you want to. Oh my goodness, you're making me tired. <laughs> wow, guys, you're definitely pretend sleeping. I think some of you may actually be sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and wake on up. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Ooh. So guys, even when we are tired and grumpy before falling asleep, God loves us because he loves us all the time. Never forget that. All right. Now it's time for us to close our eyes, bow our heads, fold our hands, and calm our hearts. And let's thank God for loving us when we are tired. Thank you, God, for always loving us, including when we are tired. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to save us, save us from our sins. We love you so much. We're thankful for all of our Puggle friends, and we just pray you'd continue to watch over and bless them. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Now let's sing one of my favorite songs that reminds us that God is super wonderful. <laughs> let's do it.
taking a little break. And Me I too. am so <laughs> thankful that God loves us when we are tired because mm-hmm. Miss Heather and Miss Christy do get a little tired. Yes, we well, do. We've had so much fun with you today, boys and girls. Never forget that Jesus loves you, and so do we. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.